what's going on everyone welcome to your 26th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna be building a random number generator um, we're gonna be importing that from a class and I'm gonna be uh, showing you how you can use random number generators to you guessed it generate random numbers so let's go ahead and pretend we were building a program so we could roll a dice and uh, whatever that outcome of the dice it just output it on our screen so whenever we want to use random numbers we need to import something like we did scanner but this one is called random so go ahead put import java util and the name for this is random <clears throat> Ugh, got smoker scott or something so let's go ahead and import random and now just like uh, the scanner we need to uh, make an object for it so I'm gonna name mine dice you can name yours whatever you want and of course that's equal to new not random random with empty parameters so now that we got our dice object we can use random numbers so the other thing we need is a temporary variable called number it doesn't need to be called number but I'm gonna call it number and this is gonna store the number um, that outputs on the dice so for example it's gonna store one to six depending on what number you roll so I just don't want to roll the dice once, I want to roll it 10 times. So for that, I'm going to need a for loop. So let's go ahead and put 4 in counter. Uh, let's start it at 1. Uh, let's say while well, counter is less than or equal to 10, less than or equal to 10, and let's increment it by 1. So now we have a loop that's executing 10 times. So now we got to give it some instruction. Well, since number doesn't have a value yet, let's go ahead and give it um, a value. Now, what you would usually do is use your object like this, number equals dice, and then put your dot separator next int because you're getting an integer, and then type in how many options you want it to have. And since a dice has options one to six, I'm gonna go ahead and put six right there. Now, this would work right here, and let me show you guys what this does. Um, let's just go ahead and system out print line, and this is uh, gonna work fine so you can pay attention to this number plus and we don't need that other one right there so look good looks good enough let's run it and see what it does it says three two three four five zero one one two one those look like random numbers but the problem is all of these random numbers if you couldn't tell they go from zero to five and why is that well I'm about to show you guys right now whenever you use this random number generator and you give it six options the options that it takes by default are zero through five if you use six again that's six numbers but when it includes zero it only goes zero one two three four five so what if instead of zero through five is your six options you wanted one through six which we do want since it's a dice and the dice doesn't have zero well well what you do in this case is simply put one plus and then use our dice object to call this and what this does is it still uses the number zero through five in this but it adds one to them so what it does is give the illusion that we're getting the numbers one to six one through six excuse me so now let's run this again and we'll see what we get as you can see there's no zeros and you get four one six two two four three one one two and all of these numbers are in the range of one to six and that's what we want so again if you want to do this all you have to do is list however many um, numbers you want in your range and if you put six by default it's going to give you zero through five since all computer counting starts at zero but if we want the numbers one to six we have to add this little one addition sign and that takes 0 through 5 and adds 1 to them or increments them over, pushes them all over by 1. So instead of 0 through 5, you get 1 to 6. So that's your quick tutorial on how to import um, the random class, how to make a random object called dice, and how to use that dice object to, to uh, go fetch random numbers for you. And also how to add 1 to give yourself kind of a starting point. So that's how in slot machines or any uh, program that uses random numbers that they make that. And we'll be doing some more complex things with this. But for now, I just wanted to give you guys 
the core basics of a random number generator and that's this so thank you guys for watching uh, copy this code and play around with it and soon enough you'll be experts at it I promise so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial